Hey guys, this is Doc, and I wanted to shoot a real quick video for you to give you some instruction about how you can take, uh, let's say you buy a new domain, uh, or an expired domain, I guess is really the way I should say it, and uh, you want to park it for some time, or um, you've got some other uh, techniques you want to use with it, uh, but you want the content that was on that old domain um, back before it expired. So you go to web.archive.org and you pop in up here in the top box the address of the, uh, the expired domain that you've bought and it will pull in the content um, in a series of captures that it's done over time. Find the most recent capture up here that that makes sense or has the, the type of content that you want to pull in and note the date um, of that capture here before you go over to the Black Hat Community Tools section and try out the Wayback Explorer. I'm going to show you how to do that next. So I took the, the domain address, put it in here, used uh, the date that you'll remember from, well, you might not remember because I may have changed it. Did I write 0615? 06, look, yep, that's the date. Okay, it tells you down here how to enter the, uh, the date, so pay attention to that. Make sure you use the right thing. Then you hit the export button, and after a little bit of alchemy that happens behind the scenes, you get this button right here for download result. All you really have to do is click save link as and then just name it something. Uh, it will download a zip file to your hard drive and you're going to need that um, when you go to restore it at your hosting. So I'm going to take a break now and pull up my, uh, up my hosting account and um, show you how you restore it. Okay guys, so this is crazy easy. Um, what you do at this point, or at least what I do, um, and you could use um, FileZilla, but for this example, I'm just going to use File Manager through the cPanel um, interface. Might be a little bit more involved, but at least I know everybody's got cPanel, or should have cPanel, or the equivalent. Okay, when you go into File Manager and you're in the public HTML directory of the new domain or the new account that you just set up, you should see nothing more than this. And what you're going to do is you're going to upload the file. It take it doesn't take very long, depending on what the um, the Wayback Exporter was able to find. You can see this was a very small. Uh, very small one and it's complete so I'm going to X out of that yes and look where I am I've got a zip file in here now now I haven't figured out how to you want all the files that are extracted from this right in this directory for whatever reason when I do it um, it doesn't do that so I'm going to show you how I do do it um, I extract and you can see it creates a directory named the same as uh, the original zip file was named. So then I double click, I go into that, and I simply select all these files, and I move them. And when I get to this screen right here, I just delete all that crap. Go up one level, and there they are. You know, Then I can just delete the original zip file. I guess I could delete I can delete this directory too. Okay. And that's all there is to it. That website is in place now. So if I go to what is it CGC Web Developers dot com. Bam! Site's in place. Can't get much easier than that. You gotta love those black hat tools. Talk to you guys.